have you gone? I left you walking through the parking lot of a Motel 6 as I turned our van back east. Somewhere on the road, we lost our way. In my mind, in my mind, I can save us all. I can breathe it all back to life. In my mind, and in my mind I spend my whole life moving I spend my whole life on a road From a dream I'm waking up And for the first Good morning vlog. I hope you guys had a great week. So for the whole week I had the plan of doing a Sunday reset vlog because I mentioned on my channel last week that on Sundays I kind of like clean my house, sort of have like a Sunday reset ritual. I love taking care of my space and cleaning up and kind of doing a refresh and a reset. And that is what I was planning on filming today. But then I realized that I'm going away tomorrow. I'm leaving tomorrow for Paris. So the regular Sunday reset that I would normally do, which would be like cleaning, prepping for a work week in the office, getting flowers for my house, getting a ton of groceries, isn't what I'm gonna be doing today because I'm leaving tomorrow night for Paris. So I'm just gonna be doing a Sunday vlog. It's still a little bit of a reset, but not like the traditional ones that I do, but I can kind of show you guys how I prep for a trip. This morning I woke up on the earlier side around 7 and brought Blue for a walk and now I'm just going to be prepping my house for a little brunch that I'm doing with my girlfriends. We're doing like a little fall outdoor brunch. So really exciting. I'm going to Paris with Revolve. I'll explain a little bit more about the trip when I'm vlogging and when I'm there, but I'm going to Paris with Revolve. This is the first time I've gone on a trip with Revolve in a bit. I used to go on so many trips with them, which some of you might know. They kind of stopped doing their Revolve around the world trips, and then the other trips that I've been invited to, I just haven't been able to go. This is a particularly special trip, and I'll share more details. We're staying at my favorite hotel in Paris, and then I'm gonna be there for a few days before Tommy's tennis tournament. So it worked out like perfectly. The day that the trip ends is the day before Tommy's tournament starts. So the tournament that Tommy has is the Paris Rolex Masters. It's a pretty big tournament. It's in a thousand level tournament. So we're really, really excited. I'm really excited to go to Paris and I'm really excited for the content, going with some of my really good girlfriends. And yeah, I'm just really, really excited. So yeah, I wanted to get one more kind of fall home vlog up before I went to Europe. I do have kind of a full day today. Also guys, I'm in a different car, which you probably already noticed. I'm actually in my mom's car. She took my car. I'm thinking about trading my car in. I wanted to kind of try her car and see how I liked it before I traded my car in. So yeah, that's why I'm in her car today. I've already started packing for Paris or putting some stuff out, but I'm going to pack. I went to the mall yesterday. I went to Zara and Sephora. So I'll do a little haul for you guys of that stuff. But yeah. I miss you guys. I feel like I haven't vlogged in like two weeks, even though it's not true. I feel like because my vlog in upstate New York was on the shorter side, things have been really, really good. I had a denim launch on Friday. It went so well and we launched our new baby tea. It went so well and I'm just like so grateful for you guys. So thank you to anyone who supported the denim launch. We're almost sold out in a lot of sizes. So if you haven't grabbed them yet I would definitely encourage you to if you want them but we're also coming out with a dark wash soon same style and body this like this straight leg boyfriend oversized vibe but in a dark wash so yeah I've been starting off all of my mornings with rituals I really love all of their products but today I really wanted to focus on highlighting their symbiotic plus product it's really more than a probiotic what makes this product so unique is its three-in-one nested capsule, which contains prebiotics, probiotics, and postbiotics. 
this product also contains two of the world's most studied strains, which is a really cool fact that I thought that I should include in this video and that you guys would want to know. So I do have a code for you guys and I'm really excited to offer this for you guys today. I love offering codes. So my code is PAGEL30 for 30% off your first month. So make sure to use my link in the bio of this YouTube video and use my code PAGEL30 for 30% off your first order. And yeah, thank you Ritual for sponsoring today's YouTube video. And let's get into the vlog. Just took out all the stuff that I got from the grocery store. And is here. Olivia wants to say hi. <laughs> Okay, so first I got these little potatoes that I'm going to roast in the oven with some duck fat so they get super crispy. And then I got some bacon and breakfast sausage. I'm gonna do these like, do like a maple crispy. <laughs> I'm mean, not making fun of you. I just, I just knew you were gonna laugh as soon as you stared at me. Oh, you found it. I got the farmhouse pancake and waffle mix from Stonewall Kitchen. This is a local company, isn't it? Uh, I know they sell it big, but I'm not sure if it's I think it's a Connecticut, New England based company. I, they probably sell it worldwide, but. Oh, yeah, in Maine. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, this is a really, really good company. They make a lot of really good baked goods and condiment stuff, but they have really good pancakes. So, we're going to make pancakes. I got some strawberries to make some fruit. We have some local apples. Apple cider. We're going to do hot apple cider, fresh orange juice. Oh, and bagels. So you guys know we love pop-up bagels and Olivia went and picked up some fresh bagels this morning. There's like a whole, oh, there's a whole spread in here. I'm just gonna salt the water a little bit and let these boil until they're kind of soft. Okay, I just washed some strawberries. I'm gonna cut these up. <laughs> about to start packing for Paris but before I do that I did want to give you guys a Zara haul oh my god there's a huge bug okay let's do it okay so all of this I believe is going to come with me to Paris so I got this really good black zip up this is probably what I was most excited about this cropped bomber jacket and then this gorgeous jacket with these metal details I'm really excited about this. I think it's really cute. Next, I got this blue sweater. And then I got this green skirt. And I just got this gray beanie. And then I got this big blue sweater. I thought it would look really cute with tights and black boots. And then Sephora. I've been really wanting to try these. The new Drunk Elephant B Goldie Drops. They send me stuff, but I was being impatient and I wanted it for my trip, so I did buy these two. This is their classic moisturizer. I ran out of my Dior Beauty one this morning, so I needed one for my trip. 
And then I got two lip liners by Charlotte Tilbury in Foxy Brown and Savage Rose. I don't have either of these, but I wanted to give them a try. And then I got a few minis for traveling, the mini Hollywood filter, mini Huda Beauty in the pink powder. That's what I set my under eyes with. And then the mini K18. And I got another mini K18 because that's what I use for a leave-in conditioner. Got the House Lab foundation, a makeup artist in Vancouver, used it on my skin and it looked really, really good. I bought it in Vancouver and then the shade didn't match me, so I'm hoping this one matches better. Got a new beauty blender. And then I got the Away Wave Spray because I was all out of mine. I need to pack. I'm procrastinating. Packing for me is so hard because I feel like I really don't like to and I've never been the type of person to like plan outfits to the T Really unless it was like Wimbledon like Wimbledon I had my dress that self-portrait green dress for like months That was the only look I really planned for Wimbledon. I guess the rest were pretty um, Just like outfits. I liked a few weeks before but yeah, I don't usually plan like crazy I'm a very go with the flow sort of person and I really like just like waking up and feeling like what I'm in the mood to wear and so having my whole closet and feeling like inspired by like all of my closet like I have I really have everything like around me like I, I've made this bedroom into a walk-in closet and it makes it really fun to like get ready and play dress up so I usually end up overpacking and then like putting things together when I'm on the road but I will show you what I've pulled because I'm doing like my version of trying to plan outfits i have a lot of really cute stuff right now guys okay so this is the situation in my closet i pulled this rack out just to put some outfits and pull some stuff that i'm bringing so some of this stuff like this i'll give you guys a little sneak peek for the collection that i'm going to tell you guys all about that i'm going to paris for with revolve but a lot of this stuff is just like tennis matchy stuff so this is an outfit that I have that I want to wear to a match. This is this gorgeous tweed gray dress. Love this dress. This top from Reformation is gorgeous. I have this Mage Paris jacket that's so pretty. I actually pulled this outfit from their store. They gifted it to me for the US Open and then it was way too hot to wear this for the US Open. So I definitely want to wear this in Paris. have this gorgeous jacket that has like a matching scarf. And then this brown jacket that I love. And then these are the sweaters that I have right now. Just like some basic, one of some of my favorite cozy ones. And then some jackets. And then these are the shoes. So these are like my all time favorite. I've had these for years. They are the comfiest heels I own and I'm really bad at walking in heels. So obsessed with these, love them. And these are my Miu Miu shoes that I got in London. They're like a short little kitten heel. They're gorgeous. These are Revolve, Zara. These are Revolve. And then these are Sandro. These are like my classic boots. And then I just need to pick purses. Okay. The suitcase is out. We're going to plan some looks. We're going to plan some looks. We're going to plan some looks. Lookbook tour. Okay, love that. The fact you're still drinking that You need to travel. You need, like, <laughs> you need breakfast. Hi. You need lunch. Hi. Dinner. Period. You need Period. Okay, you need Okay, wait. How cute is this? You're going to have to scream. Shut up. You That's know. so cute. I'm obsessed. You love? Yeah, you need to back that. That's you see that? It's on the windowsill. I can see the photo from here. I love that. Look one. How many games are there? Uh, it depends on how he does. Right. I forget. <laughs> <laughs> and I love how people call it games. Oh, you yeah, have matches. No, no, no. It's so funny. I like still call it games. <laughs> Oh, I oh love that. my god. Wait, how good. Okay, so this is a tweed dress. Where's that from? Reformation. So cute. Reformation is so good. Is this too summery? I didn't know that they made that. No, with set. black tights. That would be really so cute. So cute. I love you here. I'll give you a hug. Can I like? So this is Mage. Love. Yeah, I love Mage. Oh, that was from <gasps> this New York. This is more appropriate. Uh, this is yeah, Paris. This I was is saying to the vlog how like it was too hot at the US Open. Yeah, it just wasn't working. No, that would have not have worked. No. 
too hot. I'm really liking these outfits. Wait, I love that. Yeah. Wait, look at how cute this jacket is with the love. with the matching scarf. With like Clinty. Reformation. Yeah. You need a you they need to cut a check. For no, me. they really do. <laughs> I bought all this myself. Yeah. No, but like for real, like the amount of money I've spent at Reformation this year is sick. Like I probably more than I feel like this stuff is timeless. And it's really high quality. Yeah. 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 And the cut, everything is really good there. So good. I feel like all of their cuts are like based off vintage garments. Like for I, sure. I feel like they send like old cool stuff. The Where's prints that? are really good Where's too. That from? This is Reformation. Ooh. I was a kid from the collection. Oh, I like We're that. Just oh, that's really cute. It's I like a matching. with a pointy heel. Agreed. I like it's the finish of the sequin. Pointy heel. It's like a matching set, which I really like. And I think it's like a low rise skirt, which is fun. felt like I was in middle school again and I went to Lush and I got a bath bomb. Look at how cute it is. So it's a bubble bath. Wait, no. It's a bubble bath fizz bomb. I don't know. It smells insane. It smells like Lush and apparently this creates like bubbles in your bath. I love it. I'm going to use it for my bath. Also guys, my favorite moisturizer by Dior. I will prove to you. Literally empty so so good this is another new favorite it's my favorite for the bathroom i love it it's like a bath scent this is my second one i got it from anthropology it's so good okay hi guys you can't see me okay so we just ordered takeout we ordered from this really good ramen place but it's called micha noodle it's so good i ordered pho and chicken wings and these like gyoza amanda ordered ramen and we're just gonna have like a cozy takeout night in because we cooked a lot today and i'm just editing this vlog that's going up tonight and we're gonna make a fire in my bedroom right now and get cozy until the food comes i have to wake up early and finish putting everything into my suitcase but i'm pretty much all packed Besides, like, my beauty stuff. Um, I was thinking about tomorrow maybe filming a travel day with me. Like, a travel day vlog. Which I've never done on my channel before. Sometimes I'll include it in, like, the entire vlog. But I've never done, like, a strictly travel day. So let me know if you guys want to see that. Because this will be up and then I can see if that's something you guys want to see. But obviously going to be vlogging my whole trip in Paris. A vlog for the brand trip and then a vlog for the tournament so yeah good evening good evening i feel like amanda and i have talked about doing a mukbang for five years yeah do you want okay, to okay i got okay. <laughs> that to say. Woo. whoa i just got a lick of it i tried something new tonight i got spicy <laughs> that's a crazy move of you your yeah. stomach's gonna hurt no it's already turning <laughs> <laughs> wow i just licked my fingers and it's is it really spicy i got pho i got ramen i also ordered extra noodles and they didn't deliver so was it meant to be then we got these hot chili oil dumplings and then the fryer cracker wings that are literally so good <laughs> here um mm. good. amanda this is hitting wow Good call. Are you taking a picture? Yeah. Anyways, I feel like we both watch mukbangs. Yes. I used to watch Bretman Rock's mukbang. Yes, love him. A fun fact that a lot of people probably don't know about me because I feel like no one would guess this, but Bretman Rock is my favorite influencer. I love him. I love how he's just like chilling with his animals and he Hawaii. has like a hundred chickens, lives in Hawaii, is fucking hilarious. Like he's one of the only people that I watch his TikToks and I'm like audibly laughing. Yeah. And him and his sister are so funny. Princess May. Yeah, Princess May and Cleo. <laughs> Yum. It's really good. Is yours really good? Mm -hmm. Delicious, actually. <laughs> it was like you were made for this. 
I found got, my talent. You're, yeah, you found your niche. But it's like, I want to be in it. Amanda's uploading a YouTube video next week or she owes me $100. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. If you watch it, don't think I'm boring. And then I just like realize things, but like, I like slur my words. Same. And I edit <laughs> it out. I'll be like, good morning, good morning, good morning, morning. Like, it's bad. <laughs> but yeah. So we gotta try one with me. You want chopsticks? Yeah. Mm, I'm just gonna go full hand. Okay, ready? You look better than mukbang face to me. What's you, have a, me? <laughs> you have a prettier mukbang face than me. Okay. You do. <laughs> I'm sure. No, I'm, I'm dead serious. I just want to be Trisha Paytas. <laughs> <laughs> They're good. They're just a little thick. Another thing people might not know about me mm -hmm. is that... Oh, I'm using them the wrong way. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> What Wait, so am I, I think, actually. Wait, one's upside down. <laughs> we used to like religiously watch Jeffree Star, Trisha Paytas, mm -hmm. Shane Dawson. Mm -hmm. Who you else? You introduced me to them. I did? You and Sevi. Oh my god, they were like my people. <laughs> like you guys would always talk about them. I'm like, who? Mm -hmm. And then they became my people. I went to a Jeffree Star meet and greet. <laughs> you never told me that. Yeah. I never showed you the picture. I mean, why and when? Why the fuck wasn't I invited? It was that, that you, you slipped your mind. Did I tell me you went to a Jeffree Star movie? I was friends with yeah, cutting that out. Yeah, no, you definitely cut that out. <laughs> oh, just, I literally drove to New Jersey with her. I would have literally gone. That's so upsetting. I wish I could. Just I like Jeffrey don't Star. give a fuck about celebrities. No, like same. I give a fuck about Jeffree Star. But I wasn't like, oh my god, it's so funny. His name popped up. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Amanda. <laughs> Get, send that to me right now. Okay. Get the fuck out of here with that. There's no way. Oh my god, him slaying. He always wore that Versace dress. <laughs> that was the only fan behavior I've ever had. <laughs> for right for right reasons. <laughs> Respectfully. So were you fanning out? Like were you geeking? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm too cool. Was he nice to you? Yeah, he was he was super nice. I feel like he's just like with the program. It was funny. What'd you say to him? I remember he was like, you're so pretty. And I was like, thanks. Wait, he told, <laughs> Jeffree Star told you that you were pretty. Oh my God, mm -hmm. I would literally die on spot. Yeah, he did. Not flexing or anything. Yeah, like that's <laughs> a fucking flex. I'm really upset that I didn't get extra noodles because I'm already done with the noodles. <clears throat> you want some of mine? I should have gave you some of mine. I just want to try some. Whoa. The ramens are just thicker. Yeah, what the fuck? This is not a chopstick tutorial. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. Mm hmm It's not too spicy, which is nice. What's our dessert tonight? That's mm, a real question. True. A McDonald's hot fudge sundae. Mm, true. <laughs> See you maybe tomorrow. Blue, say bye. Bye.